Hey guys, Krista here at Aspen Campground right outside of Woods Canyon Lake. As a ranger for the dirt, occasionally I get products to test. On this trip, I've got the Matador Beast 28 Technical Super Light Backpack. It is a great day pack. It can be used for a smaller overnight, a single night type outing. The bag on the bottom has a zippable area. It says it's for the storage bag. It comes with a compression sack. I've actually been using this for like an extra beanie or a hat or something like that. And in the compression sack, I figured out you can actually use a carabiner and hook it to one of the daisy chains on the front and that way you get a little extra storage space. Uh, with the daisy chains, there's also a couple smaller ones up top here that you can use for like a solar panel while you're hiking. And then if you do that, you literally can just take your phone, stick it in one of the side pockets and you've got um, quick access, which is really nice. Those side pockets will hold a generic small water bottle, but it is kind of a tight fit. So if you have like a vacuum sealed bottle or something, I wouldn't count on it fitting there. The front has an expandable storage area. It's not stretchy, but you can roll up like an extra jacket or a light blanket or something and throw it in these clips. There is also a small pouch up here great for little items and that way if you have something you don't want floating around the bottom of the bag you have quick access to it. The bag has both sternum and hip straps so you've got both of these to help secure it when you're walking. It's a super light material it's a lightly padded netting so it should keep you nice and cool and comfortable when you're out. The bag itself if you undo these security straps will open almost all the way, kind of like a suitcase, which makes it nice also because then you can get to the very bottom of your bag real quick. Just for demonstration purposes, I have a change of clothes, a little toiletry bag. You obviously still have plenty of room in here if you wanted to put extra water or like a meal, freeze-dried food, something like that. And then it's got the built-in hydration bladder area. The clips on this are actually kind of cool. They're not proprietary, so you can use them with any type of bag you've got, um, the hydration bladders that you've got, and that way you're not stuck with just one bladder in case something ever happens to it. That just routes right up through the backpack and then into the shoulder strap so you can carry it. I'm going to go ahead and demo putting this back in the compression sack because so often when you buy things like this, you can't ever get them back in the bag. Um, this one actually does go back in the bag and it's not completely terrible to get it in there. You might have to put a little effort in, but it will go back in the bag it came from. If you have decided to use any of the daisy chains on the front of the backpack while you're hiking, there is daisy chains around the outside of the compression sack, and that way you can take whatever items you were carrying, I don't know, a pan or your solar panel, and then you can hook them to the outside of this compression sack when you're not using it. So that actually is a really cool feature. You can throw in a suitcase, take it with you, use it when you don't want to carry your bigger luggage around or your bigger bag around. Very lightweight. So far, holding up great. I'm loving it as a day pack because then I can take an extra change of clothes or something with me when I'm hiking in case the weather changes. Lunch, it's great. Check out Matador Beast 28.